Hi, I'm Stephen Lloyd and once again welcome back to the drawing board where tonight we're recording at the stroke of midnight on an abandoned burial ground for a special Halloween themed engineering nightmares drawing board. Uh, without further ado, being in groundworks there is one thing that crops up quite regularly and that is archaeology. Uh, quite often you'll be digging in the ground and discover something you weren't expecting. Unlike the beginning of the film, Cockneys vs Zombies, uh, discovering a Roman crypt on site is probably unlikely to start a battle with the undead on the streets of East London. But if the idea of exhuming graves doesn't have you shuddering, the idea of losing six months of your programme while archaeologists rummage around on site certainly will uh, lose some sleep. Next in the list of nightmares is curves. And I'm not talking about circular ones, I'm talking parabolas and second order curves. There's highways engineers who are watching me now and are laughing, Second order curves, we do that all the time. But for those of us who are used to working with straight lines, curves can be a real nightmare to set out on site. I've seen some jobs with lines of piles that have not a straight line in sight, that's a curved all the way from one side of the site to the other. Number three, right thing, but the wrong place. I'm sure everybody's got a story or two about this. You've just finished your work, you're really proud of the job you've done, and at the last minute, somebody walks over and says, that's a really good effort there, but it needs to be half a meter over that way. Um, in the extreme, I have a friend, I won't mention any names, who tells me a story about a site cabin. Uh, they arrived on site, they put the foundations down. The next day the crew arrived, it turns out the site cabin was in the wrong field. So that turned into a nightmare for quite a few people, not least the farmer whose field now has a site cabin in it. In at number four on the engineering nightmares is any kind of delay when the concrete wagon's arriving on site. This isn't so much a jump scare, it's more that classic horror movie scene where you've been chased by the guy with the knife and it's the adrenaline fueled heart pumping situation. You're thinking, how are we going to make it in time? You've got one guy who's busy moving all the steel reinforcement because it's too far over that way. But on the plus side, if your concrete's about to go off, you can always pour it into that crypt and stop those zombies getting out. Finally on the list, a bit of a topical one with this trend of people dressing up as clowns, but that's not what I mean. As a site engineer once told me, you always have a few clowns on site. If you've got any nightmare stories of your own, I'd love to hear about them, please comment below. This has been a bit of a tongue-in-cheek one today, but next time we'll be firmly back in the technical mindset, we'll be talking about how we design, develop and prototype new equipment. Um, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time uh, on Back to the Drawing Board. Thank you for watching.